in a run, not entirely unlike our own, on a day, not entirely unlike today. Irony gloom hung heavy in the dusk over four rivers, stinging Ora's eyes and lungs. Ayo, anyone kicking? A certain crusty, gruff pirate of a man with a face etched like weathered timber, Doug emerged from beneath a mangled beam, partially embedded in his bloody forearm. Kratom, the unconscious form of Aubrey, golden girl, like a precious, broken up. His grimace spoke volumes of the battles he had endured, ducking through the doorway and prancing around like a lynx with oversized boots, Kadaja. Carefully looked over the situation and disappeared. All right. Cough door, escaping from the wreckage. Dean Dean, commanding yet ominous drumbeat. In the sudden silence that followed, the debacle signaled something. A stealthy shadow slid into the wrecked carriage. Clifford's presence silently announced itself. Aubrey is wearing a new necklace made of teeth. Nasty bite, Doug grunted. Too late for our young friend, Clifford said, turning his crossbow on him. He fired with strangely little remorse. Doug swatted the arrow. During release, the sweat next to him sent a brawl. Hidden behind Clifford's back, a natural bony hand formed an odd character, pulling in energy like a black hole. It would be unfortunate if my bodyguard needs to die today. Just then, we need to regroup. Almost did it to Dasha. Now we're carrying the boats, drawing over to help her off the ground with the grace of a bingo cat in the sun. Or at catching eyes with her, which felt like days to her. And what little wind left knocked out lungs seemed to vanish. I shall forgive this impudence for now, Clifford carefully announced, returning eyes to Doug and genuinely curious what he would do next. With them, please touch. Compassion's art. Ease her woes and heal her heart. The disheveled and yet somehow regal mighty appeared with white in her hands healing Aubrey. I'm going to do everything I can for you, Mighty said, struggling as she ran out of mana. Shambling through the carriage doorway, splurch! The stagecoach man's broken ankle sounded out. Twang! Went a dark arrow from Clifford, a little close, too close, to Aura's ear as it hit the stagecoach man who had been skittering towards them. Blimey, the sky's sprouting needles. Someone's planted in a prickly cloud, Doug bellowed, tackling Clifford. As the stagecoach man fell to the ground with an arrow in the gut. Just as quick as down, instantly swinging his massive body up like something bit him. Feather on my feet, who's tickling me? Stagecoach man's upper torso kept crawling up Doug with entrails left behind pinned to an arrow. Deep, Doug smashed the creature's skull with an oversized battle hammer. Kadaja began. We need to go understand our voice. I need to understand the situation. Clifford cut in. Aura, check and report back to me. Okay. Not sure whether to be angry for being used or happy to be used for with them. 